So here we are in the depth of field calculator site and you can see here I've put in the camera 5D Mark II because it's got a full frame sensor and there's less depth of field generally with a full frame sensor. I've also put in the focal length lens of 100mm so let's just say it's 100mm macro and the f-stop is f2.8. So if I'm using that setup to take a photo of something that's 10 inches away you can see over here that the near limit and far limit are very very shallow and you've only got 0.03 inches depth of field so that's how much of the actual object you're photographing is in focus so let's say it's an object that's five inches thick or deep you're only going to get the tiniest portion of that in focus so to actually get all of that five inches in focus what we have to do is adjust these figures until we get that to five inches uh, so yeah to five inches so the whole of the object is in focus and I've played about with this and the way I've worked it out is you'd have to move back from the object to 40 inches away and you would have to use an aperture of f22 so you're closing the aperture right down as small as it will go so that barely any light is coming in and you can see there by using those settings and moving back we've now got a depth of field of 4.99 inches so that would cover the whole depth of that object but you can see here how useful this tool would be if you're taking photos of something you need to have everything in focus you can quickly use this calculator to work out what settings you need and what lens you need and how far away from the object you need to be so have a play with that and test it and try it out with your camera equipment because you can change the cameras to anything that you've got here they've got a whole load of cameras so have a play with that, take some photos and see how accurate it is and see if you can use it to, to help your um, knowledge of apertures and depth of field.